The Northern Cape is the biggest province in South Africa, but it's the smallest populated. I think we've got 1.3 million people over the whole of, of the Northern Cape. Very poor. All the head offices of all the, the companies aren't here in Kimberley. They're in Joburg, Cape Town, Durban. So if you approach them for money or donations, then they said, but we already gave. Yes, for the people in Joburg. What about Kimberley? I'm Yanni van Seyl and I am the director of the Northern Cape Mental Health Society. I never thought in my whole life that I will work at a mental health facility. But when I got involved with mental health, it changed my life. Our service users do not just have one issue, mental health. There's the intellectual disability as well. Here you need to work with so many levels of staff members for the well-being of your service user. But it's, it's so rewarding. It's really very rewarding. Now, centre yonder where we are situated and where we render services to is such a big place of empowerment and skills development for our service users. They can come here, be in a protective environment where they can use their skills, where they can learn new skills and not have the same pressures as in the open labour market. We accommodate 190 service users in hostels and then we've got a frail care facility. We also got two independent living facilities. I'm the house mother here at Heis Oberolse, Jonde. I've been a house mother here for the past five years. This is not actually a hostel. This is a family home. I've got 18 individuals living with disabilities. They must know that this is their home. They do their own thing and I'm here as a leader. Although they are very good tradesmen and women, they don't have the skills to socialize in a group of people. So Yonder provide them with workshops where they can exercise their skills and they can earn money there. We have 14 workshops here. We do woodwork, we do mechanical maintenance, we do welding, cane work, arts and crafts, concrete products, garden services, bakery, and then we have a kitchen where we do 680 meals a day, and uh, they are part of it. We've got one instructor there, or mentor, and the others are all uh, service users. This place is a safe haven for those who the community does not understand. And here they get a chance to socialize with those of their kind, as they would call it. it. Gives them a few hours to just be themselves. When we get service users that we know can work outside in the open labor market, but business don't like to employ them, then we go and buy that business. We did that with a nursery and we moved the business to this premises. We did agricultural courses with some of our service users, and now we are the biggest wholesale nursery in the Northern Cape. We provide everything to all the nurseries in the Northern Cape. They're not a, a Yonder or a Northern Cape mental health service user anymore. They are now employed by us, and they get a salary, and that's important. They're proud of what they are doing. I work by Yonda. I can be a very good cooker. I can do a good cooker. I can do the lambo crisps that we have now. The tag that we do. I'm just going to learn from grunters. What I did when I was was I was so much so mad lucky. I'm to help the cooker from Mensa Afi. Mensa told me to understand. I had to smear off the brain plus from Obera. That's why I was Yonda to have come. I'm to help the cooker. Once we see this woman or man is now fit to be placed in support of employment, we do that. 
We go to the uh, businesses outside and we do the supportive employment program with them. So we discuss the uh, disability and we train the supervisors how to work with the, with the service users. In our organization, people with disability constitute about uh, 1% of the workforce so far. We have a plan to increase it. We want to set an example to other organizations that we can give employment to people living with disability and also contribute to destigmatizing mental disabilities. Maria and Elsa are working in my department, in HR department, as filing clerks. They've got a one of a vital position in, in the organization. This is one of the legal requirements for us to have our employees record in place. So they contribute to, to ensuring that uh, all our records are appropriate and in place. I guess Elsa Muller, I work in Kimberley by Yonder Centrum. I work now all seven years by Beef Master and I can spy trots of my filing work that I do. I know precisely where all is going. And I tell my friend, then I have to do the training and filing work with them, because we have to do it exactly as it has to be. Thank you. Thank you. We don't get that support from government. If you see the budget, and where mental health fits in. I wonder if it's one or two percent. They don't do anything. They don't have statistics on, on mental health uh, patients that, that enter their facilities. We have to jack that up. The Northern Cape is a very, very vast province. So it takes you hours to get literally from here to, I say, Uppington or to the furthest part to actually render services. It's not just enough them coming to a clinic, get the medication and go home. There's aftercare services that also needs to take place. So government should really look at their funding and that will enable that more services such as outreach and awareness can take place. Lockdown came as a shock to all of us and um, our people don't understand it always. We worked through the program with them in, in smaller groups. We even took them to the game farms just to let them come out. But it was very depressing. There's a lot of challenges. People are uneducated outside. They are misinformed. And the life we are living today, everything is a race. Everything has to be fast. They need patience, and that is what people don't have. I want people to better know what has happened to them. There is always talent for them, and there is always a center for them, where they can also go and help them, and from our special people, we can do the same thing that normal people can do, even when they are in the hospital. Thank you very much for your support. 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 Wat ons op reis doelen is, kan meer goed is het doen. Is not like alle mens kan wees om gejaagd voel wees om te zeggen wat kan hulle niet doen, wat kan hulle doen nie. Our vision for mentally healthy South Africa is to see the acceptance first of all of persons with any mental health issues. I'm also diagnosed with major depression and anxiety. So it's a struggle for me daily. And I experience that people do not accept this. They label you, they think you are crazy, they think you are weak, and that's not true. I live al 43 years with gestreamdheid and I am trots daarop, want this is the Lord who has made me. And I live there so. Whatever mental health issue you are going through, you are not weak. You are in fact strong, but you just need medication perhaps, or you need a psychologist or someone to speak to, but you are not weak, you are strong because you are embracing what you are living with every single day of your life.